Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on Control Your Eyes. In Matthew 6:22 and 23 we read that the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness if then the light within you is darkness how great is that darkness eye is the physical organ of sight one of the chief channels of information for us it enables us to see the things but it must be a healthy eye to fulfill this function Jesus seems to be teaching that his followers need to maintain a clear healthy sight to live a life acceptable to God the effectiveness of a spiritual life depends on how well we manage our eyes in Matthew 18:9 we read that if your eye causes you to stumble go it out and throw it away it is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the fire of hell here jesus conveys that our eyes have the potential to drag us to sin if we are not controlling the lust of our eyes and think that we are doing well in our spiritual life we are simply deceiving ourselves eyes are not only the windows through which we see the world but they are also the door for the filthy and lustful wicked things of the world to enter our life eyes are influenced by lust Satan uses the lust of the eyes as an avenue for temptation. The lust of the eyes is the desire to possess what we see or to have those things which have visual appeal. We are often entrapped by our lustful look. Lustful look is different from passing glance. It is a willful calculated stare that arouses ungodly desires the coveting of money possession or other physical things are not from god but from the world around us in bible we read about many persons who entered up on the wrong side because of their failure in managing their eyes in genesis 36 we read that he looked at the forbidden fruit and saw that it was pleasing to the eye and this triggered the desire in her to go with the suggestions offered by the satan which in turn caused the fall Satan used a visual image to entrap her. In Genesis we read about the wrong deceptive look of Lot that drove him in making a wrong decision to go and live in Sodom. In Joshua 7:21 we read about the confession of Achan narrating how he was carried away by the covetous look that led to his destruction and the failure of israelites in a tiny battle in second samuel 11:12 we read how david was driven into various sins when he failed to control the lustful look in shelly At times we promote our pride through our haughty look. In Proverbs 6:17 we read that haughty eyes are abomination to God. 
second peter 2:14 says about the class of people whose eyes are full of adultery and they never stop sinning in proverbs 20:27 we read that our eyes are never satisfied with what they look for in first john 2:16 we read that those who are controlled by the lust of eyes are not from god in titus 2:12 we are told to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled upright and godly lives in this present age let the prayer of psalmist in 119:37 be our prayer as well o lord turn our eyes away from worthless things amen Thank you for listening. God bless you.